Well, Keith Jarrett is one of the greatest piano players of all time. I think a, a true musical genius. Uh, he got brought into prominence, played for um, Art Blakey, the Jazz Messengers, as a young Ooh. man. Ooh. Then he went to Charles Lloyd Sheesh. and uh, with the great Jack DeJanette and played in that group, J- Charles Lloyd Quartet. And then Jack and Keith joined the great Miles Davis <sighs> for albums like Live Evil. Uh, I th- but the weird thing about Keith Jarrett, and then Keith went on his own after that. Yeah, I think he put on a Kenny Wheeler album, and then I don't know how much. Like, oh, Gary, well, if you count things like him and Gary Burton, but yeah. he didn't really do any sideman work, which is so strange for jazz people. But not uh, strange for the character of Kenny of Kenny Jarrett. Yeah, Keith Jarrett. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's his brother. He's a very strange fellow. Yeah, Kenny's not so, a good guy. Yeah, Keith's much nicer. No, Keith is very strange himself. Idiosyncratic, I guess, would be the... Oh, yeah, there you go. It is a Sunday word. There you go. So, Keith Jarrett, I would say, is mostly most famous for the Cologne concert, which is a solo piano uh, concert which sold millions of records, (laughs) which is insane. Um, And then, in recent times, he either does solo work or a trio where they play jazz standards with Jack DeJanette. And Gary Peacock, and that's what I think most people think of Keith Jarrett. That's what they think of. It was it, would that be? That's that's a fair assessment. That's a fair assessment for sure. Uh, and was that your take as well? To him, one hundred percent. I mean, not, I, not, even, not, I know you know him for a while, but I've known him for initially. a while. But but before I got to know him deeper, uh, yeah, it was I had I had a copy of the Cone concert because anybody anybody that's anybody can find this record. I mean, when he says millions of copies sold, this record spawn a whole record label spawn a whole slew of other artists yeah it's crazy uh so yeah mostly well known for that and then the trio work for sure so earlier he had two quartets he had a european quartet and the american quartet how hip they, is that by the way yeah and they were both different soundings the american quartet also keith was so cool he had the ecm thing uh signed but he also was signed to impulse with the american quartet at the same exact time Okay, yeah. so that's, that's how good. Cool. That's how good Keith Jarrett is. He's allowed to have two different bands running in, on opposing labels and still put them out at the same time. Correct. And uh, the American Quartet has the <clears throat> my favorite, uh, really bass and drum combo in jazz with Paul Motion and Charlie Hayden. And and why so, and why is that? Why um, there's so many there's so many combos and these sort of like killers around. Legends that can play out of a bag, but why? Why do these two call you out so much? One because of Charlie Hayden's. Charlie Hayden plays mm, at time. I'm not going to say he plays less, but he's just he's very judicious with his note choices. Yeah, more more than like more than most, right? And he's always changing the harmony notes underneath. Uh, so that creates a lot of uncertainty because of his time with obviously Ornette Coleman. Uh, he brings that same thing over, and then Paul Motion <sighs> on drums. He just doesn't play drums like any other people. He literally, at times, sounds like throwing a bag of luggage down a flight of stairs. Paul Motion's concept of the where the one rhythmically lies uh, is very different than everybody else's one. And I think when you got two magicians that are building. That are building this this other thing together that both are capable of hiding the one or hiding this the place where everything starts. Um, it, it gives you for for a great spot for such a a crazy musician and composer as T. Jarrett because he loves to fill in the gaps, you know, no wasted space. And uh, these are three, and especially with Jarrett, you know, they're all students of the game. 